Hello and welcome to Darlington Baptist Church Online. Hope you've liked and subscribed. If not, do that now and you'll get a notification every time we upload a new lentil. Yesterday I spoke about Virginia water in Surrey and finding some time to go and to relax by the lake there and to allow God to speak and to, to just breathe and to be led beside those still waters. Well, there was another occasion that wasn't quite as peaceful when we went to Virginia waters when we lived down south. Vicky's brother and family came for uh, a few days and we decided to walk around the lake. Six mile walk, a couple of hours, maybe two and a half hours it should have taken. Well, six hours later, we're still walking around the lake because we got lost. We hadn't have the right directions. We ended up wandering around because it wasn't particularly well signposted. Over the last couple of days, we began to read from Psalm 23, and I'd like to read it again to us today. The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters, he refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. God always blesses a public reading of an inspired and infallible word. When we lived down south, occasionally I got a pass out to go and watch Darlington play football. And on one occasion, um, I was able to go to Tamworth near Birmingham. I had my map set on Google Maps on my phone, although other maps are available. And uh, as I approached Tamworth, literally as I got off the roundabout into the, into the town, towards the town there, my phone died. I couldn't turn it back on. There's something went wrong with it. Um, and indeed that phone went to the great phone space in the sky. Not that there is one. I was only with Josiah, who was four. Um, so we did the thing which we fear most as gentlemen. Uh, we had to ask for directions. It's not like, Tamworth isn't like Leeds or like Newcastle where you have the signs for the football grounds. So we had to ask for directions and I asked a couple of people, where's the football ground in Tamworth? I don't know, no idea. The closest that we got was one gentleman who said, well, it's up the main road somewhere. Oh, unless I've moved since then. So with it approaching quarter past two and a three o'clock kickoff, I decided that I had to go and get a map. I had a little brainwave. I could go into the uh, garage. I asked the garage, do you know where the football ground is? No. So um, I got a map. I looked in the map and found the football ground. I bought the map for, I think, three ninety nine. So if anybody wants a map of Tamworth, I've, I've got one. And I was eventually able to find the football ground and enjoy a, a nil-nil draw. Well worth it. Well, we all need direction in our lives, whether that's for finances, for life choices, for health, or whatever other sphere that might be. We might watch Martin Lewis and get his money tips, or Sean Lloyd so we know what the weather's going to be like, so we know what clothes to wear and seek direction in that way. We all need direction, whether it's a significant or less significant. Psalm 23 reminds us that we have one who directs us, who leads us along right paths. He doesn't lead us down a cul-de-sac or an alley with no light at the end, although we do talk about being in the valley of the shadow of death tomorrow. He leads us along right paths. Now imagine you're in a maze, you don't know the way out, but the person who created the maze is in there with you. Wouldn't you feel much more confident that you'll find the way out, the right path? Well, that's the Christian faith, that the creator of all things is with us. Jesus Christ in the midst of this maze of our lives. You will undoubtedly have had many paths before you. Sometimes God in his grace says you can choose A or choose B and they'll both lead to a place of righteousness and abundance. But there are occasions when there are right things and wrong things to choose. When the good shepherd is asking us not to walk down a particular path and we can choose to ignore him and see peril in our midst or we can make decisions that are right and pleasing. He is a good shepherd, the good shepherd, and he gives us paths which we can walk along for his name's sake. 
So I wonder if you're at a crossroads in your, anywhere in your life. Have you got a decision to make? Will you go along the path laid by God or will you go your own way? May God bless you as you seek to follow his path that he has laid out for you on this day. May God bless you today as you seek his paths. And we hope to see you tomorrow uh, for day 21 of Lentil. God bless you.